Hey, what's up guys? Eric here at EM Motors and Launch Vans. Just finished up a uh, little build here for a customer. That's just coming out of the shop. She's gonna take delivery of it today. So super exciting day for her and for us. Um, it's a cute, pretty cool little layout that she wanted. Um, that works, I feel, really good in the standard roof. Uh, so I'll show I'll show that to you here in a little bit, but uh, it is a uh, 2017 or 18 I can't remember um, 144 inch wheelbase. It's the standard roof model and it is four-wheel drive So super cool there get you especially we got some snow here that's sticking around in the valley So the mountains hopefully got dumped on uh, Overnight, but this will get you up to the mountain or off the beaten path uh, Wherever, you, wherever your heart desires. You'll probably check it out before, before you lose the uh, capability of the, of the van to get you somewhere. So um, this one has the BF Goodrich uh, KO2 all-terrain tires. We like using those because they're great off-road or in the snow. They're quiet on the highway um, and they're very durable and proven. So uh, we like those. And then we have the Black Rhino Arsenal wheels. Always look sharp. 17 inch um, <clears throat> let's see here so what else do we have we have well on the roof we have a max fan deluxe it's a 7500k with a remote 10 speed intake and exhaust uh, t vent cr lawrence t vent windows in the front on both sides so you can uh, create some good ventilation in the van we have uh two or 300 watts of solar up on the roof uh, coming into 200 amp hours of lithium batteries from Battleborn and then we have Victron Energy uh, Solar controller and Orion DC to DC battery charger and isolator so we can get current coming from the alternator into the batteries And then also we have a short power plug so you can plug in if you have that capability to charge the batteries but you shouldn't need to uh, with the power use that's going on in here but uh, just in case you do, we wanted to have it set up to be able to do that. So pretty good sized garage here for her gear. Um, you can store some bikes. We have some L-Track here in the back if you want to put fork mounts uh, and, and store the bike. You'd have to remove the panel uh, because the bed is set at a little lower height than normal for the standard roof. So you have more room uh, from the bed to the ceiling. But we always like to put 110 and 12 volt power outlets accessible here in the rear and in the front cab area so you're not looking around for or, or wishing you had an outlet somewhere um, cool little screens that are full, rolled up right now you can roll them down magnetic entry and exit but uh, keeps gives you some privacy and and keeps obviously the bugs out so uh, we like using those um, Let's see here, we got some garage lights. We do have uh, outlets that you can turn your lights on and off from bed or from when you enter the sliding door area. Um, so we like to do that. We have a couple of stuff bags that are softer in case you do bonk your head. Uh, and then you can really fill them with a lot of gear. There's pockets all around, sides underneath the, these bags. Um, so we like using those, especially in the bed area. And there's our Max Fan Deluxe. And that works off a remote, or there's some buttons uh, that you can manually turn that on and off. Got some nice steps that we've put on. We have a Fiamma F80 awning. Like to stick with the manual awning because uh, we've had some issues with some electrical awnings, and uh, you know you don't want to not be able to get your awning out or in if you're trying to get out of the, get out of Dodge. So uh, we stick with the manual awning. It comes out quick stake the legs down to the ground or you can stake a, or uh, place them here in these little uh, catches on the body so that works out really well another screen rolled up here flip up seat uh, so that stows nice and tight against the wall there to free up space in the van we love using those if you need to haul passengers have some task lighting on a dimmer right here uh, this galley or cabinet houses a 130 liter truck fridge um, 
has a little freezer in it, uh, works really well, and you know, sometimes you can't have enough room when you're on the road living out of the van. So uh, another outlet uh, for 110 on the side of the galley, and then 12 volt and USB outlets there on the face. And then we also have the shunt to monitor all the flow in and out of the battery system or obviously it's at 100% right now because the vehicle's running and alternator current is coming in. Uh, and then we have the inverter on off switch. And then also that little dial, it shows 14 amps or 14. You can control how many amps come into the battery system. So if you're plugged in at home in the garage, you don't wanna be popping your breakers. And so we set it to 14 amps uh, and that shouldn't break, pop your breakers um, in the garage but you can dial that up to 30 amps if you wanted to, if you were at an RV park or having a 30 amp uh, uh, outlet at home. So uh, options are always always a good thing. Let's see here. We have our S-Bar diesel heater mounted under the passenger seat. Uh, that is the S2 and that uh, we use the Easy Start Pro Controller uh, up here and uh, built-in high altitude kit, brushless motor, good good setup. We haven't had uh, really any problems with those and it'll toast you out of the van. You'll not have to use it very much even when it's super cold outside. So uh, we like using those. Uh, we did, she did elect to uh, have a toilet and we like using the dry flush by Laveo. Um, it's basically an adult diaper genie if you remember the diaper genies cartridge system you do your business you push a button and it wraps the waste into a bag system and you have about 15 uses before the cartridge is, is full and then you basically uh, there's another bag that that houses all the waste that you're able to just zip tie up and throw in the garbage just like the old diaper genies or your kids diapers and yeah just throw a new cartridge system in there and it works great so there's the cartridge and there's the little flush button. So, and then we have a little uh, cubby for some extra cartridges for her. So that just rolls in out of the way. Uh, let's see here, what else, what else? Uh, <clears throat> no water system, so this is just full storage, uh, which is nice. And then, let me move this stuff out of the way here one second. Put you on pause. Okay, couldn't do that with one end. Uh, so, and then on this cabinet side, we have the electrical system. So your, your uh, Victron Energy 2000 watt inverter charger, 200 amp hours of lithium from Battleborn, and then the fusing and shutoff switches and breakers, uh, Orion and your solar controller from Victron. Just proven systems. Um, man, we really haven't had any problems with those systems. They're more expensive, but they're, you know, when you're out enjoying uh, van life, you definitely don't wanna be worrying about your systems failing or having problems with them. And then they are Bluetooth, which is cool, so you can use the Victron Energy Connect app and uh, update them and see what's going on from your phone too, uh, since uh, if you don't wanna look at the, the uh, BMV. And this one doesn't have a color touch control, so uh, anyway, that's pretty cool. And then the floor is uh, lawn seal coin floor in black with some texture super durable easy to clean up and uh, yeah looks good so uh, that's what we have there but yeah pretty simple build let me know what you guys think um, yeah I think I really like the layout and how open the space is let me know what your thoughts are do you like a low roof or standard roof or do you like a high roof uh, these have about five foot six of clearance inside. So, you know, some people that doesn't matter because you get in the van, you're going to be sitting down or laying down, not standing up in the van. Other people, you know, if you're cooking and standing up a lot, changing, that could be a, a deal breaker. So, uh, the profile, I really like the look and the profile of the standard roof myself, but I have a high roof and I have a 170 so I can fit my dirt bikes and all my gear and dogs in there. So. Uh, anyway, let me know your thoughts. Uh, which one would you take? And uh, um, 
yeah, make some comments down below. Let me know if you have any questions. Hit us up on our website to see our other vans uh, that we have for sale, emmotorsboise.com. Our build site is launchvans.com. YouTube channel is EM Motors Boise. If you want to check out our other builds, uh, let's see your Instagram is EM Motors Boise and Launch Vans as well. So anyway, check us out, hit us up. Let me know if you have any questions. Appreciate you guys taking a look as always and uh, talk to you later.